So let's see today's delicious meatloaf recipe uh, with which you can make delicious sandwiches. So let's start with the easy and quick recipe. So now in a pan, I've taken just about 1 4 teaspoon of oil and I'm going to fry 250 grams of bacon. Now we want to fry the bacon till it's nice and crispy on both sides. And it doesn't require extra oil because the bacon itself, because of a little bit of fat, does, uh, you know, leave out some oil. So that helps to fry it and make it nice and crispy. So here you can see the bacon is nice and crisped up. So once it's done, we're going to take it out of the pan and let it cool to room temperature. And then I'm just going to chop it up really fine using a nice sharp knife. Now you can use a regular bacon or you can also use chicken bacon. And I'd like to know whether you even get vegan bacon. I have heard of it, but not really sure. So let me know in the comment section whether you've ever eaten vegan bacon. So now chop it really, really fine. And since it's nice and crispy, so the process is really easy. Now once that is done, I'm just going to add one more teaspoon of oil to my pan and I'm going to fry one medium onion that I've chopped really fine. So we want to fry the onion so that it's nice and uh, translucent. I'm using a red onion, you can also use the white onion. And now I've just taken about two tablespoons of garlic which is about four large cloves of garlic and chopped them really fine and I'm going to fry the garlic well too. So this dish doesn't have a lot of ingredients, but uh, the end result is really amazing. And I love making this meatloaf on a Sunday and keeping it in my refrigerator. So whenever hunger strikes, you know, just cut it up into thin slices, butter up some nice slices of bread and you have your lovely meatloaf sandwiches ready. This is a great kid snack or even a tiffin item or just something when hunger strikes. So now I'll fry the, bacon, uh, the onions and the garlic really well. And now here I've taken 500 grams of mince. To that I'm going to add the fried bacon. Now again you can use chicken mince, you can use mutton mince, you can use beef mince. I like to go with leaner meat so I'm using chicken and even the bacon I'm using as chicken bacon which is easily available and now I'm going to add two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce and I'm going to add one teaspoon of mixed herbs. I'm also going to be adding a little bit of chili flakes, about a teaspoon for a little bit of a spice kick and one teaspoon of pepper. For those of you who watch my recipes know that I use a lot of pepper and I just love the taste of pepper and I'm going to add some salt to taste. And now to hold everything together, I'm going to be using about three tablespoons of breadcrumbs. So all I've done is just taken some slices of bread and you know made them into crumbs in my blender. And now just one more ingredient and that is an egg so I'm just going to beat the egg and I'm going to add that too. So the eggs and the breadcrumbs really hold this whole to get the thing together and make it into a lovely loaf. So add the egg and then all you got to do is just mix everything really well together so all of the ingredients are nicely well incorporated. So let me know in the comment section whether you make your meatloaf like this or you have a different recipe. I would love to hear from you guys. And now I've just greased my loaf tin with a little bit of butter and I'm just going to add this entire mixture. And now I just want to pack it down really, really well. Now this would be a good time to preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius, which is around 356 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes. So pat it down really, really gently.
and then we're just going to bake it in the preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 45 minutes but do keep an eye on it because every oven is different and here my lovely meatloaf is all ready doesn't it look nice and juicy and I'm going to let it cool completely before I demold it and you can see how well it's nicely baked and the aroma in my kitchen is really amazing I just can't wait to cut this up into slices and make some beautiful sandwiches so let me know how you like this recipe. Do give it a try and I'll catch you soon in my next video. Bye. today's recipe as well as today's video and if you would like to see more videos like this then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up also by, by clicking the thumbs up icon also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of Akshita's recipes once you have subscribed there is a small little bell icon that will pop up so just click on that that way whenever I put up a new recipe or a new video you get a message for the same so on that note, I'll say bye and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita saying bye, take care, stay healthy, stay fit, be kind and loving to one another. So till we meet again, bye.